What's up guys, Dr. Goldbeck here, and today we're talking about the ankles. Now a lack of range of motion in the ankle can wreak havoc anywhere up the chain. And the issue that we see most of the time with ankles is that people think you either have it or you don't. We either have good range of motion or we were born structurally without having any sort of range of motion around the ankle, which is sometimes true, but for the most part, there's lots of things we can do to grow that range of motion and gain a little bit of mobility. So today we're gonna go through a few different things. A way to stretch the ankles and the calves and things around that to see if that's the thing that's causing you to not be able to move through the ankles well. And a few things to strengthen around the area because we have to find a balance between the two. So let's take a look. So the first thing that we want to address is make sure that there's not a soft tissue component that's keeping you from being able to go through that range of motion. So what I like to do is a stretch where you start in a lunge position with one leg out to the side. Now we are going to lean into this leg. You're really pushing into this ankle. You can hold it down with one hand if you want to. And we're going to hang out here for about two minutes. Now you should feel this mostly in the back of the ankle there, but you might feel some up through here as well. Everyone's going to have different sticking points or tight areas. But I want you to grab a timer because two minutes can feel like a really long time. So we're going to hang out here for two minutes and you're going to do that on both sides. Now this is a great way just to stretch all the soft tissue around the ankle to make sure that there's not just some sort of tightness that's keeping you from being able to go through the range. After we do this, let's go through a little bit of strength work. Now the first way that we're going to add strength is to transition from a shallow knee bend to a deep knee bend. Now a shallow knee bend is going to be going as low as you can in a squat, letting your heels pop up off the ground a little bit. But if you look at my knees, there's not a huge knee bend happening right now. Now from this position, we're going to transition to a deep knee bend. So I will go up on the toes and you can see the change that it makes in my knees. And we're going to transition back and forth using a box if we need to. Now you may have the strength to not use the box if you want, and that's up to you. But usually I'll transition between the two of these anywhere from five to 10. And I'll do a few sets of this, just adding some strength to my feet and everything around the ankles. And last but not least, we will have a loaded calf raise. So you can hold dumbbells, hold a kettlebell. You can go ahead and load up with a bar if you want to. And what we care about with this, we're gonna do a calf raise, big explosion, and then slow control on the way down. Now you can do this off a step if you want to, to get more range as we go down. You're gonna lift up and all the way down, you go all the way down into a stretch. Uh, but this will typically do anywhere from 10 to 20 reps. And I'll do two to three sets of this. All right, now you have the tools. You know what to do to go and stretch around the ankle as well as strengthen the things around the ankle to make sure that we have plenty of mobility so we can do all kinds of things that we wanna do. So go ahead and give these a try because if you can fix yourself, you should. And if you can't, we're here.